Today we're going to start a two-part project, the Word Project. So before we begin, I'm going to show you some examples of past students and their completed uh, Word projects. So this project, uh, you're going to take adjectives, descriptive words, and you are going to turn them into brushes that you will then basically stamp over and over repeatedly um, and make it very dense in areas so that it forms the outline or the image, your person. At the end, you will be able to pop some words out and change the color. Okay. Okay, to begin the first part of this project, we're going to start with a new document. So we're going to do a file new. And we're going to be using custom. And I'm going to call this over here on the right hand side. I'm going to call it Word Project Part 1. And I'm going to just use the standard size of a sheet of paper. So I'm going to do 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches tall and my orientation is landscape and I'm going to put my resolution on 300 and I'm going to want my background um, to be white so you can either pick it here or you can just go under <clears throat> the drop down and choose white and then you're going to hit create. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to set my foreground and background colors to default black and white. And now I'm going to be selecting my horizontal type tool, which we have used before. And I'm going to create a text box. Now with the horizontal type tool, you can either click and type or you can click and drag to make a text box. So in this case, I'm going to just um, click and drag to make a text box. Now by default, it's got a whole bunch of um, stuff or words into it. I'm just going to hit delete so it gets me back to... Um, a beginning spot and currently I'm on center alignment in my options bar up here I'm just gonna switch that to um, left alignment so this one now <clears throat> what we haven't done before that we're gonna do this time is we're going to pull up our character panel our character panel is very important so all our panels are always under window so and they're in alphabetical order so window character now our character panel controls all of our text and it gives us more options than in our traditional options bar up top. So the words that we're going to be turning um, words into brushes that will basically be used um, like a stamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to be thinking of adjectives for the person that we're doing for our project. So if it's yourself, it's words that describe you, or if it's like your brother, sister, friend, it's words that describe them. Make sure they're appropriate words. And just FYI, remember, Photoshop does not have spell check, so you are going to want to make sure your spelling is accurate before you type out your words if you have anything that's questionable. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my sister for this project, so I'm gonna be coming up with descriptive words for her. Um, so I'm gonna type my first word. Um, so I'm just gonna start with smart. Well, actually I'm gonna do intelligent. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna highlight the word and I'm going to go over here to my character panel because um, here you can change the font. So I'm going to go with Arial Black. Again, you pick whatever you want for the words, the project that you're doing. Um, it doesn't, for, for setting up our word, our brushes, it does not matter the size that you do it on. So don't worry about that. Just for the purpose of demoing, I'm going to just Put mine up a little higher. So what is important in this character panel is some other things that you need to know about. Um, which if you hover over top the icons it will pop up and tell you what is what. So this one here is our letting and it tells us this is our spacing between lines of text. So just to show you that if I were to 
do a couple lines of text and I highlight them <clears throat> and I adjust my letting, you can see that it's adjusting the distance between my two lines of text. Okay. Um, the next one, now this all is on the Photoshop test, so it's very important to know this. The, if you go right underneath of that, this is your tracking. So this is your spacing between um, a group of letters. So if I highlight intelligent and I adjust my tracking, you can see that it equally adjusts the spacing between all of the letters in my text. <clears throat> I'm going to put that back at zero. And the other, the other one that is very important is the kerning. And the last one um, that you need to memorize is this one right here, which this is the kerning and this is the, the um, spacing between two characters. Okay. So um, I remember kerning like a kernel of corn is a single kernel of corn. I remember um, the tracking with a group of letters, I think of train tracks. Um, and then for the letting, I, it's just easiest, I think, to memorize what that one is. Okay, so those are the three that you need to memorize the definitions and where you find them in regards to being on the character panel, okay? Um, once you have your word that you're going to use um, and you're satisfied with um, the font, and the spacing if you want to space out the letters or anything with the tracking. Um, there is some other stuff down here that you can play around with too. Um, faux bold, all caps, if you want to play around with that, you just press the button down. So that's all under here if you want the strike through. So that's some other cool stuff to play around with if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do now is when you are satisfied with your first word, you're going to hit the check mark at the top. Again, the color is not important. We change the color in um, part two of the word project. So after you have your first word ready to go, you're going to count down two tools and find the rectangular marquee tool. With this tool, you're going to click and drag to make a box that encompasses the entire word. So the, all the letters have to be inside the box. Okay, after you have done this, you're going to do edit, define brush preset edit define brush preset and it's going to pop up it's going to show you um, right here this is a preview of what your brush is going to look like and this is the name of your brush so i'm going to keep i'm going to call it intelligent brush i just like to stick with the actual name of the word and i'm going to click ok now, after you've done that, you can go ahead and deselect, just Command or Control D, and um, then you can delete that layer if you if you want to do them one at a time or if you want them all on the same um, page, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of. Um, speed through the rest of my words and then I'll show you um, where they're at and how we're going to use them.
So you want to have about 10 to 15 different words for a good project. Um, and if you um, noticed here, um, I basically went with pretty simplistic fonts for um, all of my words that kind of um, will kind of play off each other or work well together. And I repeated some of the fonts, most of the fonts twice. Um, I do want to talk about one more thing um, with fonts before we uh, kind of finish up this part one. Um, let me just make a text box here to show you. Um, and okay, so uh, this font right here, this is. Um, a sans serif font. Now, a sans serif font does not have any embellishments. So let me show you the difference. Okay, so now if you look at the bottoms, the little feet of the letters, and right here, this little kind of ball and the little tail flip, these are embellishments, considered embellishments, and this is a serif font. So a serif font is better for long passages of reading. Um, and then this up here is a sans serif font, which just means it does not have embellishments, so it's more kind of straightforward. Um, this type of font is better for like something like a poster. Okay, if you notice, um, most, I think all of the fonts that I actually chose for this project are sans serif fonts. So again, just something to be aware of and know for the future and for the um, Photoshop test. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually, um, I'm going to delete all the layers now except my background layer and then I'm going to show you um, where our brushes are. So don't be alarmed. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and collapse the character panel. You can collapse it right here or just do window character again to make it, um, to hide it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna select our brush tool. So um, we use the brush tool all the time. So go ahead and select the brush tool. And then we're gonna pull up our brush panel. So window, brushes, window, brushes. Now, what you're going to see if you, I'm pulling down the bottom of the panel, you're going to see at the bottom now, I have all of those brushes that I just made. So when you're working on part two of your project, you're going to want to keep your brush panel open and kind of move it over here so you can easily navigate, navigate back and forth. So let me just show you. It's like a stamp, so I'm just clicking my mouse. I can click on a different can make it bigger. Um, to adjust the size, I'm using the shortcut keys, the bracket key, but you could also, of course, adjust the size um, up here like you normally do. So we just turned all of our words into brushes. You can actually do the same technique with um, photographs or textures or anything that you want can be super, super useful. Okay, so. At this point, what you're gonna wanna do is try out all of your um, brushes that you've created, then save this as a JPEG, so file save as after you've tried out all the brushes, and then you're gonna turn that in for proof that you did part one. Also, because this is a brush, you can easily change the color um, as well. So real easy, real simple. Um, and then this is gonna lead us into part two of our word project.